Good afternoon, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It is cooling off. I should have grabbed the camera when it was 87 degrees out. Well, 86 is not far from 87. I am very thankful that I have a ceiling fan. Um, without that, I think I would be dead right now because it gives me a bit of a breeze in the tiny house on wheels. Because there is no breeze outside for once. Isn't that funny? Now that it's... Uh, Smoking hot. There's no breeze out there. Um, oh, I gotta go feed the birds. The babies are all wild and begging they saw me move. Look at all that life in there. Look at all them. All kinds of silkies. Got them all on sale. Well, anyway, I wanted to show you what I'm up to today. Won't be much video, I don't think. Of course, every time I say there's not going to be much video, there usually is. Let's go check the solar power and then I'll show you what I'm up to. I currently have, of course it dropped, it was over 300 watts right here. I had well over 300 watts a minute ago, and then a cloud passed through. Um, that's the live view, let's see what we've had coming in today. With the new solar panels, power is cranking. Oh yeah, look at that, okay. Now today must be a little bit better than yesterday, although it was partly cloudy. I had 2,800 watts, almost 3,000 watts yesterday, and today I've got 2,400 already at 3.30 in the afternoon. So I'm hoping I'll pump in some more power today than I did yesterday. Well, if we get 30... Uh, let me see, what was that again? Data, live view. Let me go back to the live view here. How many amps are we pulling in right now? Um, pulling in 20 amps. So... If we pull in another two hours of power, they're just pumped up to 308 as we watch. Uh, might be able to beat yesterday's record. I just need uh, 400 more watts total to beat that. And considering I'm getting power now until 6.30, 7.30 in the evening, I might be able to beat yesterday's record. So I'm pulling in more power than I ever had before. Again, my situation is not what your situation will be. You will be pulling in way, way, way more solar power than I do because I'm in the forest. But I'm excited and happy to see 3,000 watts in a day. Now, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to give you an overview. Look at all those tabs open on my, uh, up, up top of my, um, my computer screen here. All those tabs. I am doing server maintenance today and I have all kinds of tabs open because I'm working on all of my websites and databases and everything trying to finalize the server move over so I've got multiple windows open for multiple things it's just madness migrating a server it's pretty crazy so that's all I'm doing today which is fine because it's 80 it was 87 inside and uh, or outside so it's a couple degrees cooler inside and I've got plenty of work to do in here finishing this server migration. I am uh, working on the do-it-yourself world and if you look here the forum is now open for business. The forum is fully open for business and it points to the new domain. See what I'm doing here is as I finish something now see so it goes and you look here the domain is the DIYworld.com is where we are right now and when I click on forum it's going to transfer to the forum at the do it yourself world.com so there is the new uh, look at that you can see outdoors behind me this is what I was talking about about a glossy computer screen look at the beautiful trees behind me in my laptop screen so let me see if I can try see I'm indoors trying to work and I've got that issue with the laptop screen. Well, anyway, trust me, I'm at the doityourselfworld.com instead of, see if I move, you're looking at the window behind me, where uh, it transfers it over, moves to the do-it-yourself world, spelled out, the do-it-yourself world, the new domain. Uh, the form is up and live fully. Uh, those of you who have struggled in the last two months during all this work of my transferring the server, please forgive me. Uh, those of you who went to the old DIY World site that said the forum was down, please, and it said please go to the Do It Yourself World. Um, I should have sent set up the link to transfer automatically, but I had so much going on. 
Uh, it's my bad. Anyway, forum now works. Forum is live. Come on over to the Do It Yourself World Forum and give me your feedback, ask questions, get uh, help answer questions. There's so much going on on the forum. I'm really working on it, updating it, improving it, and uh, really going to be on top of things from now on. And for those people who have patiently been waiting for um, me to finish updating this, um, thank you for waiting, thank you for your patience, and we're moving forward full speed ahead. So check out the doityourselfworld.com uh, and click on forum and it is live open for business. Anything and everything about do-it-yourself, survival, off-grid, alternate energies and more. Well, 5.30 in the afternoon, I am still working on the servers today, and it's now hotter indoors than out, so I'm going to hop into town and get a window screen for the front window over here, because I don't have any cross breeze running through the tiny house. I've only got the back windows, which are wide open, and the upstairs windows, which are wide open, but I don't get a cross breeze, so I've got to get screens for the front windows and get some airflow in this tiny house on wheels because there's no screens and the bugs are in, out in force so I found that out the hard way. I opened the window and the place was loaded with bugs so oops uh, Squeaky has some catnip sorry about the jerkiness there so I'll see you guys later morning Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project well something was here last night something big First thing I noticed was out of place was the trap that I had buried under all these logs is gone. All of this heavy duty stuff, you can see where the trap was laying and it's now missing. This trap was sitting next to that trap. The big trap is gone. Look, it's just not there. It's, it's not there. Um, um, what would come and take away a trap? It's that's odd and then I've noticed see I've got hungry little birds here and hungry big birds here I uh, have a bit of a problem my chicken food is gone it's gone oh I got some left okay good well whatever it was didn't take it all but it's been rained on, which is annoying. Okay, good. So, something knocked over the can, which is heavy, by the way. And it's never happened before. And then, I found my trap. And there's a lot of other things disturbed. Something was ripping the place up. I think Mr. Bear was here. And was hungry. I found my trap over here in the woods, way out behind the tiny house in the forest. I, uh, I can only think bear, but the trap is not damaged. No, no way a raccoon carried the trap off into the woods. That's odd. It's very odd. So. Um, a lot of things are knocked over and ripped up. I did have my game cameras on last night, so I can't wait to see what I'll find. Um, I think all my chickens are alive. Everybody's here. This other trap, which I had hidden down here, is untouched. So... If only chickens could talk, they would tell me. Maybe they could tell me what was going on last night. Maybe they're trying. Anyway, I'm going to go feed the little monsters. It's time to feed them. I'm going to figure out the mystery later. The, the chickens are fine and alive. Nothing got in. So... 
Everything's good. Since I'm out here, I've never showed my updates to my little flower bed. I put, I started putting mulch around because the sun is brutal out here and uh, the newly planted flowers were needing water every day. And I put mulch around them and I want to put mulch around everything. And they perked up and stayed perked up. So, and I also wanted to get an idea what it would look like with the mulch. And it brings out the color of the flowers. I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to finish the garden bed like that, the, uh, the flower bed. And everything is growing happily. My peppermint did start growing, the old peppermint from last year. So now I'm going to have three plants here, which is fine. They'll fill this entire area within a couple years. The lavender hasn't done anything, so I think it's a goner. And the uh, the creeping flocks, I think it's called. Flux. Is it? Uh, yes, creeping flocks. It's starting to bloom nicely. Um, probably because it's rainy, it's not opened up. But that's going to be really pretty. That really bushed out this year. And then we'll continue walking around. I've still got to finish cutting these logs up, but I injured myself, so I'm taking it easy right now. Look at that, that's a pretty flower. Isn't that nice? And then uh, the others. So, looking good. Yeah, I'm going to fill the rest of this in between all the plants. And I think it'll really look nice out here. It brings out the color. It's snowing in May. It's weird looking. Hope that shows up. Looks like it's snowing. And just like the snowstorm, it comes and then it stops. It was really thick when I went to grab my camera and now it's gone. But everything's turning green. We had a rainstorm. Look at all the green. Wow, that makes a difference. I've got to mow the grass now. <laughs> 